Harry Hipschman came to work for Effort International January the 2nd, 1890. Was he peculiar? Was he eccentric? Uh, perhaps. But he was also a, a good and, and fair employer and had a very sharp mind even until the day of his death. Being a bachelor, um, he had no family. And so um, he was concerned that no one would remember him. He had given 74 years, nearly 75 years of his life as an employee and last years as the president of this bank. In his craftiness, he is causing our bank to reinvest in the community uh, in a very, very significant way. Having served on the school board, the Ephrata school board for 41 years, I think is what led him to the scholarship uh, thought. I'm not sure if that drove him to build this scholarship, but the scholarship came together as he was considering his end-of-life issues. He indicated that uh, he wanted a significant portion of his estate to be procured and set aside uh, to give betterment or give opportunity to the, the next generation in the form of scholarships to the students who graduate from Ephrata High School. The majority of his estate went to this scholarship fund uh, uh, upon his death in 1964. I love to see programs offered to kids that help them realize their potential, that light bulb that goes off across our district uh, when kids realize the potential that they hold within them. The Hipschman Scholarship is unique to our district. It offers uh, an opportunity to kids who may not otherwise be considering going off to college. Uh, it puts that thought in their mind right away when they enter high school. And, and that, I, I don't know that we could measure the impact of that on, on how students feel about their future and their potential. The award of a Hipschman Scholarship to our students can be life-changing. Fifty years ago, I was uh, 17 years old here in Ephrata, and uh, you have on your mind your senior year all the things that you might do or might study, and how you're going to manage to finance all that uh, is kind of all a swirl. The financial burdens that my parents were facing were, were significant and uh, at that time, um, hard to believe, but $500 a year covered pretty much all the tuition. Made you feel proud to be honored that way by uh, Mr. Hipschman uh, and the effort of National Bank. I think he would be uh, wild. He would be a Amaze is not a strong enough term at, at the amount of influence he's had in 50, 50 years. The next generation has some great leaders and uh, Mr. Hipschman should be very proud that he's helping to craft those leaders for tomorrow. 22 plus million dollars have been invested into generations that have now come to work at the bank, been leaders in their various respective towns. I think Mr. Hipschman's heart would be melted. What a tribute. Well, if Mr. Hishman was sitting across from me today, um, I would certainly thank him, first of all, not just for my personal scholarship, but for all the scholarships that have been awarded since 1965. I appreciate what you've done, uh, not only for me, but for my immediate family. Uh, as I grew up and for the effort of community. I, I don't think there's any way that you could um, touch that many lives in, in such a significant manner as, as you have. So we, we have an obligation to you to live well uh, out of what you've provided, both in value and in money. The idea would be, certainly you would like some of these people to come back and, and bless your community. And indeed, many of them do. Some of them work for this bank. And we're de uh, delighted for that, uh, about that. Uh, but if they can be sent from Ephrata, 
again, because of maybe something that Mr. Hipsman's dollars, his scholarship has caused them to do, to go and bless somebody else across the nation, around the world. Education, just to be educated is, is an end in itself, but to be educated in a point to change the life of yourself and other people wherever you're, you're walking at the time. I think Mr. Hipsman was, was hoping that would happen, and indeed it is.